Hi guys, this is Dr. Ahmed Ergin. Today we are going to talk about how to lose weight fast. Now, I am not going to tell you another miracle, but I will tell you a few tricks and tips that will work for you. So, you're watching this channel because you're either wanting to lose weight or you have diabetes or insulin resistance, and everybody tells you the same thing. But the point is how to make this come to life and be practical. So, let's get started. So guys, as an endocrinologist, as a hormone specialist, treating diabetes every day, helping people with weight loss, I get these questions all the time. I, when I tell people, hey, eat less calories, I get this blank face, you know, on their face. I'm like, okay, okay, let me just give you a little trip, ticks and uh, trips. So basically, you can have less calories, but here is one other tip. I would say, don't make your own plate. When you make your own plate, it is hard to put less in your plate. We generally end up putting more, thinking that we are gonna eat more. I'll tell you what, recently, like a couple days ago, my wife, uh, I was busy, I'm, recently I'm like so busy, I can't even sit down to eat. And thankfully she's very nice, she serves me food and she brought me some oatmeal for the breakfast. And then I looked at the plate, I was like, uh, that's very little, <laughs> what, the, what the heck? <laughs> this is nothing. Maybe she just confused, maybe this is for my one year old. But then I said, you know what, I'm busy, I can, <laughs> I'm just going to eat it. So I ate it, and you know, at the end of the plate, I was like, oh, I wish I had more oatmeal. But then I said, whatever, I'll keep working. And then guess what, an hour later, I was like, oh, I'm not hungry. I'm not really hungry anymore. I'm like, it's a good thing that she put uh, less oatmeal in there. So actually, if you can get over that sensation that you're still hungry, your brain will catch up. Most of the time, when we eat, we, we don't feel hungry at least for 20, 30 minutes after eating. And the problem is in 20, 30 minutes, especially in the United States, you can eat a lot of food. So it's best to have somebody control you. Let me tell you, you cannot control yourself. Willpower, that doesn't work. You have to control your environment. So if you think that you're gonna hang around the kitchen and keep eating, you're gonna go back to the pot and get more, don't eat in the kitchen. So try to eliminate all the clues and tips that reminds you of the food. So stay away from that, have somebody take over for you if you do not have enough willpower. Using a smaller plate will definitely help. Uh, so because you cannot really overfill a very small plate, and you will realize that if you are not going to continue to eat, you will still feel full even after a very small plate. So guys, I'm going to talk about the fast food. Now, we talk about don't eat fast food, don't eat this, don't eat that. But the thing is, this fast food chains, they're always at a huge line with these drive throughs I'm like, what is going on with these people? So when I look at the videos on YouTube, they have all this watch time and people are watching, people are reading, but they're really not following what they are really watching. Well, the problem is when you are rushing, when you are not prepared, you want something fast. That's why you're watching this video, how to lose weight fast, because you're looking for an easy way out. And in life, nothing works like that, honestly. So fast food is something you have to always say no. You should rather go hungry and skip a meal instead of having fast food, even if you're dying from it. Now, I would say go for something with uh, no calorie beverage, uh, some sort of tea, coffee, uh, some sort of hot beverage that will make you full at least for a while until you can carry yourself until the next meal. But definitely, if you're gonna have a fast food, even a small portion of it is definitely poisonous. So do not attempt to have any fast food in your uh, diet. Now, sometimes some people think that, oh, I'll go to the fast food restaurant, I'll just get some egg whites, so I'll just get a salad. Mm, I don't think so. Most people drive through and they start seeing all these uh, fast foods that that reminds them all that uh, receptors are kicking in, you know, the, 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 the reward center that they remember from their past. Even if they didn't eat for a while, they're going to be like, you know what, just one time, it's going to be okay. I'll, I'll not do it again. So the best way is to avoid even driving to that restaurant. So do not go to McDonald's, do not go to Chick-fil-A, stay away from them at all times, even if you think that you can order something healthy. So another thing, guys, I'm going to say no snacks. With an exception. So 
if you're having snacks and you're having three meals a day, that's not good. I mean, how can you expect to lose weight having snacks because those three meals will probably fill you up unless you're eating like a bird, you should not be having snacks. The only time I would recommend snacks is if you are skipping a meal and you're extremely hungry, you can grab a few nuts or something like that just to, just to take the edge off. That snacking is okay. But if you are just having a lunch and having an afternoon snack, that's not okay. You're having a breakfast and having a 10 o'clock snack, that's not okay. So definitely guys, no snacks if you're having regular two to three times a day. Now the next on the list is intermittent fasting that has been very popular but uh, very rarely done. <laughs> it's popular in people's brains, but people say, you know what, the intermittent fasting sounds good, eh, but I, can I do it once a month? I can do it once a month. Uh, and then they, it, it starts happening like once every other month and so on. So the problem with intermittent fasting is, it's not a problem, it's actually very doable and actually works. But people go full blown. They wanna go for 16 hours, 20 hours fasting, guys, you cannot do that. You cannot just go lift like 50 pounds, 100 pounds for your biceps the first day. You have to start slow. Think, ask yourself, how long can I go without eating? Can I go four hours? Can I go six hours? Can I go eight hours? Depends on the person. So if you can go for six hours, try to stretch it a little bit. Try to do eight hours and see what happens. And then after a few weeks, you can try to go for 10 to 12 hours. You can go try to go 16 hours. Eventually, when you train yourself, you can actually go for up to 48 hours without eating and you will not be even questioning food. So, it is all about training, telling your brain that you can do it, but you need to love your limitations and you have to progress slowly. If you can achieve that, intermittent fasting can be your best friend. Okay guys, the last one I'm gonna tell you about, exercise. Now, when I talk to my patients about exercise, everybody, almost everybody, has an excuse not to do exercise. Why? Why do you guys have an exercise? You can eliminate all the excuses. The first thing is first, you wake up, you have to exercise. That has to be in your agenda as the first thing in your life. What kind of exercise you do? I don't really care. You can do biking, bicycling, running, you can do swimming, you can even exercise when you are sitting. So it's not like you have to be very athletic to do exercise, you have to move, you have to get out of the couch, you have to go. Right after this video, go take a walk. Always encourage yourself. Don't say that, oh, uh, I don't want to walk by myself, or, or my neighborhood is too dangerous, or, or then drive to a nicer neighborhood, or do something. You cannot come up with excuses. If you exercise, and if you can increase the intensity of exercise in a gradual way, like we discussed for intermittent fasting, you will realize that you will be burning 300, 400, 500 calories in less than half an hour, and that can give you a lot of liberty to be able to um, have a little bit more food. Now, everybody's metabolism is different, of course. You know, you, some people will need a thousand calorie a day, some people will need 3,000 calorie a day, and they can still lose weight. But the problem is, when people do not exercise, it's very hard to maintain that weight loss. So, put in your book, as of today, you are going to start exercising, and there will be no excuses. Sometimes I ask my patients, and when they say, hey, um, I have joint pains, I have back pain, uh, my knees hurt, and da 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 da. I'm like, uh, do you have arms? And they say, yes. I'm like, do they work? They say, yes. Then I'm like, there you go, you can exercise. <laughs> so I'm not trying to be tough or mean, but really people can do things. People just don't believe themselves that they can. So today I want you to believe yourself that you can exercise and you can do it. No matter what, you should be able to start something today. Guys, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. All right, thank you for watching. And I want you to be more informed and more educated. So to do that, go ahead and watch this next video right here.